Hi everybody and welcome to another super exciting edition of C4 and we have two lovely teams for you here today so let's move over to the left first of all we have an absolutely beautiful American mm. hello yes oh. I'm talking to you John Artman Sorry, that's I right figure out which is uh, um, I always forget well, yeah, my, my name is John Artman hello <laughs> wow he's an idiot And uh, also we have Shalmar. Hello. Hi, Rob. How many times have I had you on the show? Um, let's see, three. Three, and they've been enjoyable each time. Let's move over to the right. Uh, Stuart Wiggin, hello. Hello. And how are you today? I'm good today. Okay, you look very happy. Thank you very much. Your job's going well? It is. Oh, marvellous. Okay, and you are joined by uh, Gan Lulu. Uh, I've seen your boobs <laughs> online many times. Uh, they're absolutely marvellous. So, um, uh, no. It's not Gan Lulu. It's not Gan Lulu. <laughs> What's your name? Ding Lulu. Ding. Can you hit the bell? Ding. Ding! Okay, let's move on to the first story, please. Okay, what is this man all about? Uh, John Artman has buzzed in. What do you want to say? So he was holding a he was holding a, a hospital receipt that he had he had stamped with a fake stamp from the hospital. Okay. Uh, the way things work in Chinese hospitals, if you want to get treatment, first you you pay for it, and then you show them the receipt, and they give you the treatment. Okay, that is absolutely marvelous. Have you been treated for anything in China besides mentalness? Uh, I've been treated for many things, okay. including including a recent bout of tonsillitis. Okay, and also if you could see the back of his head, you'd know he just had a lobotomy. <laughs> What's up? So this guy, this guy apparently um, faked the special seal, then, mm. right? Mm. As John Artman said, and and, and stole. He stole 172,000 yuan worth of treatment. Uh, for what purpose? Well, that's what I was going to ask uh, Gan Lulu about. Ding Lulu. Ding Lulu, indeed. To, uh, to save his wife's life. To save his wife. What was wrong with his wife? Uh, she had uremia, which yeah. is high levels of uremia. Don't say yeah. You didn't even know. <laughs> it's like he said it. You're like, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't know. It's high okay. levels of I urea did, in did. the blood. <laughs> High levels of what? Yeah. Urea. It, it's it's a kidney problem. Mm -hmm. okay. So she had she had to go to the hospital twice a week for dialysis. In, indeed, she had to go for dialysis treatment, but uh, because she's not uh, she doesn't have a hukou, is that right? Or is it something different? She doesn't have a Beijing hukou. Mm -hmm. And so the way that the social security system works is that uh, you have to have the residence permit in 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 one place. So like if you're if you have a hukou in in Shanghai, but you're in Beijing, you won't be covered by the social security services here. Like okay. Care so he's in trouble because he faked uh, the seal and made these receipts and got free treatment for his wife uh, between 2007 and 2011. His name is actually uh, Li Liao, Dan. Oh, Liao Dan, you're absolutely right and his wife is called Du Jin Ling. Okay, so I've done some research, well done to me. Great pronunciation there. Thank you so much because you're usually very critical of me aren't you? I am. Because you're a knob. Yes. Do you know that somebody um, donated some money to him? I did know because I'm actually hosting the show but would you like to <laughs> cut in and tell me how? Well, Ding Lulu told me so oh, I'll let Oh did she? Her. Okay, you know something. Um, yeah. Somebody What's your actual job at CRI? I'm a biz writer. A biz writer? What does that mean? You write about business? Yeah. So it was Chun Li Hao. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was a Hold on, Guangdong, I was flirting! Stop he was, it! He was a Guangdong... Um, was it Guangdong? Yeah, he Guangdong. is indeed from Guangdong. Yeah. Guangdong Province CPPC member. Yeah. Um, he gave... Don't sound nervous about it, you're gave, right. <laughs> 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 he gave Liao Dan um, 170,000 renminbi. That is quite true. And uh, does anyone know how many years in prison old uh, Liao Dan faces? Shalmar's buzzed in. How many? A uh, minimum of three and a maximum of ten. That is absolutely right. However, if he pays the money back, they're going to be more lenient. And because of this donation, he can actually pay the money back. So yeah. maybe he'll just be on probation. He actually, he actually has already paid the money back. It was okay. too late for the court date, actually. Was it too yeah. late for yeah, the court it was date? too late. Okay. Yeah. Well, people on uh, Weibo have been talking about this story quite a lot, uh, talking about the morality of it all. Uh, Shalmar, do you think that it's moral, what he did? Well, it's spread around as a very touching love story, mm -hmm. so I guess it's moral. Okay, that's beautiful, the However, romance of it all. Public opinion should not in, you know, influence the court's uh, decision, yep. even though yep. public opinion is probably right. Okay, well, let's say that this he's broken the law, but he's been just. How about that? Who agrees with me? Okay, Stuart Wiggin agrees. Also, it actually reminds me of a Denzel Washington film called uh, John Q, where a guy has to take a hospital uh, hostage uh, I don't know if you can take a hospital <laughs> hostage. <laughs> <laughs> he, he takes hostages in a hospital. Oh god, okay. Just wrap, uh, it, wrap it in duct tape. What? Just wrap the hospital in duct tape. Shut <laughs> up. And uh, he takes uh, hostages because he wants his wife to have a heart transplant which he can't afford because he doesn't have the right insurance. Mm. So uh, very similar to that. How would you feel, Ding Lulu, if your boyfriend did this for you? I would have done that for him. That wasn't yeah. the question, but... Yeah, but... Uh, 
Uh, Are you confused again? <laughs> no, no, okay. that's not what I'm... It's, it's not related to business, so she hasn't got a clue. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next story, please. <laughs> okay, do you want to buzz in and tell me what this is all about? Yeah, that I know that. That's um, three people from one family who were saved by a guy who died in the end of saving. Okay, I don't know if you're right because I'm on the wrong page. Hold on. <laughs> you are right! Okay. Shalma, uh, do you know where this actually happened? It took place in Laudi City or some way. It's amazing how you can read notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's in Absolutely. Hunan. It is what do you want? Like <laughs> money? Okay. It is indeed in Hu Hunan and it's a place called Laudi City. Uh, how do you want to say it? Well, you said loudy. Yeah, loudy. Okay. And the way uh, you say it, it sounds like loudy. Uh, you know, that person's very loudy. We don't talk like that. Um, <laughs> but it's actually in a river called the uh, Sunshui River. And a 27 year old man called Dong Jin Jie jumped in to save a family of three from drowning. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, he was killed in the process. But what happened to the three people that he saved? They said, ta ta. Yeah. They um, walked away. None yeah, of my just, business. And they just walked, walked off. Away. Yeah, they said, no, it's none of my business. And then they Everyone they has walked. answered except Shao Ma. Do you want to add something? No, everybody said. Okay, oh, marvellous. Glad you're on the show. Um, <laughs> and uh, that is quite true. The three people that were saved actually just uh, got in their they car and bezzed away. They probably went away because they were scared of what might happen, mm. right? Do you know why they were scared of what might happen? Well, the I'll let a Chinese yeah. colleague answer that. Okay. Hello. I said the guy died. You know. She get angry there. She said, I said. <laughs> I, like, I wasn't listening to her. But I wasn't. Was he between you guys? Okay. No. Oh, you like being in a Robin Stewart sandwich. Oh god. Okay. Move on. Move on. Move on. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> actually, in 2011, pipe down, the local government actually uh, banned people from swimming here due to previous drowning incidents, and uh, so there was a wire fence around the area. So the family that got uh, trapped in the water must have actually climbed through the wire fence in order to swim there. Now let's move on to what happened very recently uh, in Tochi. Uh, Xiaoma, as a Chinese person, you must know what uh, Tochi is. Well, it's the seventh day after the deceased passes away and people gather around to pay their respects, I guess. That is quite true. And so what happened uh, on Tochi? So, so the family that, that originally walked away and mm -hmm. said, it's none of my business, they came, escorted by some government officials, they came, gave the family money and, and paid their respects. That's true. They handed over an envelope of cash, apparently, and then paid their respects. Although before the family could actually ask any questions, they were shuttled away by the local government and local police. So no questions could be asked. Now, uh, you're a very good swimmer, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, would you dive in to save these people? Those people now know they're bastards. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're what? Bastards? That's a type of bird. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. Okay. She works on Biz News. Do you use that on Biz News? <laughs> like, those bankers in England are absolute <laughs> bastards. Okay. <laughs> Professional. Okay, uh, John Artman. Uh, Sir. You're not a very good swimmer, are you? Actually, I'm a pretty good swimmer. Okay. I've been swimming since I was like five years old. Where did you get that idea? <laughs> okay, from the look Jerk. of you. But, uh, okay. <laughs> don't, don't are you trying to imply something, Rob? Shut up, cockmaster. I'm not a very good swimmer, Rob. Okay, now would you? what would you do in order to save these people? I wouldn't save them because I'm not a very good swimmer. So you would just watch them as they gurgled well, and died? Well, jeopardise my own life. Um, would you lay your life on the line to save someone else's? Yes. He said that, but you didn't mean it. Like, if you look into his eyes, <laughs> he was like, yeah. <laughs> like, but if you were actually put in that position, you'd let those three people die. I'd save all four of you right now. Would you? From what? From an exploding <laughs> studio light? Do you know what? I've actually been told that if you sit in this studio for more than an hour, the lights will explode and cover you in molten glass. So and when that happens, people. I'll be diving across. <laughs> you can only <laughs> save me and Lulu, those two. Like, you better know. hurry, Rob. Artman, can you save uh, Shalma? Uh, I have the ability to, yes. Please do, because she's hotter than you. Anyway, um, <laughs> how would you thank someone who saved your life, Shalma? Well, definitely not with the red banner. Okay. Maybe with the red envelope, though. Okay, how much money do you think your life is worth? I don't know. Um, let's see. In RMB, maybe about like two thousand. Really? Oh. God, she's cheap. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me make a note of that because uh, if, it, if it's if it's two thousand for the life, I don't know what it is for other things. All right. Well, let's very swiftly move on to the next story, please. <laughs> Did you make a pick down? <laughs> Okay, uh, Stuart Wiggin has buzzed in. What is going on here? This looks like the Beijing subway. It looks like the Beijing subway, but it's not actually the Beijing subway. Is it the Shanghai subway? It's not the Shanghai. This should take a while. John Hartman. Yeah. It is, in fact, the Shenzhen subway. Oh. Okay, you are right. It's the Shenzhen Metro, as they translate it. Now, what is the Shenzhen Metro planning that has uh, netizens all fired up this week? Uh, biz reporter, Ding Lulu. Yeah, it's actually a bit story. 
They're going to have a VIP carriage. I like your hair. Thank you. It's very nice. Um, <laughs> what, what was your answer? I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Ah, it's four. Yeah. They're going to have a VIP carriage. That's right, a VIP carriage on the subway. Now, on uh, the number 11 line. Number 11 line. Glad that you did some research. Mm -hmm. oh, did, she, did you just blow a kiss at me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was sitting here and she was like... Oh, However, yeah. it's yeah. not actually a VIP line. A government official from, the, from a, a transport body yeah. came out and said, um, it's not VIP per se, um, it's actually for... Passengers who need to store large luggage. Okay, marvellous. You sound like so an outsider. It would be, it would be like, like a, remember something. It should be like right. VIL carriage, very important luggage. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> laugh track. Could we just uh, kill ourselves now? Um, in fact, I have to say uh, that being on this train will cost how much, Stuart Wigan? It depends on the uh, length of your journey. I know, but uh, what I was looking for was it'll cost from double a regular ticket. Oh, sorry. Okay. It cost double a regular so ticket. So, so, so that could be anywhere from four renminbi to 22 renminbi. Okay, so it could be expensive. Now, what, uh, I was just about to ask something, so I'll come to you in a minute, Ding. Um, how, uh, what do you get for this double fare? What do you mean? You work in an English get, language department. You get large... Um, Spaces for your big luggage. Yeah, yeah it's quite well. You, you get large spaces. You get a guaranteed seat. Do you though? Well, apparently. We don't know. And mm. also, you yeah, get specialty no. services. So I'm not sure what these specialty services are. Xiaomi, if you were going to take the Shenzhen Metro and pay double, what specialty service would you expect? Uh, maybe a man manicure and a facelift. Okay. <laughs> well, I know what specialty service I'd like to give you. Uh, John Hartman, what about you? What oh, specialty God. service would you like to get from me? Oh, uh, I think you're going to ask about the subway. Okay, fine. From the subway, what would you... Uh, well, well th I think there's, there's a difference between what I would like and what I would expect. Okay, let's uh, forget about expect. What would you want? I would like, uh, you know, maybe some Rodia Mois and Jian Bing and a couple beers. Okay, sounds uh, absolutely delightful. And, uh, and served by women wearing not a lot. Wearing enough. We oh, don't know, by the way, whether this policy is actually going to go ahead. Okay, well, let's just be clear for the viewers of C4 that this is just an idea. It hasn't actually been put into practice yet, okay? Uh, but the luggage thing, I think, is very important because when you take the Beijing subway, it's always so squashed, and then people bring these huge bags on, those big countryside bags, and they put them right in front of the door. So when you try and get on and off, you just trip over, people are falling on you. I've had my pigu touch so many times you, on the subway, it's unbelievable. Do you think that those countryside people yeah. will be looking into the VIP carriage Well, I have to say, menacingly. I've seen VIP IP stuff before in China, like when I was in Hefei on the bus, you can actually pay double the price and take an air-conditioned bus rather than a regular bus. So you pay two yuan instead of one yuan. But that bus was actually almost empty, whereas the regular bus was crowded. So well, if people want to save one yuan, then I don't know how busy it'll be. Is that giving rise to a class divide? A class divide? It might be giving rise to a I new mean, divide. Is, isn't isn't <laughs> Rob the host? What? I'm just leading. He's, he's allowed to say something, What's you know. Going on? I'm confused. What's wrong with you? It looks I'm like you're playing confused. with someone's balls. Are you going to come back to me? What? The question? <laughs> Am I going to come on you? What? <laughs> Are you going to come back to oh, me? Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want to say something? Yeah. The, uh, I was going <laughs> to make a point as the biz writer is that uh, um, it could be 22 koi is the most expensive, mm. but the Beijing airline uh, subway is 25 koi. Okay. Great. Glad you made that <laughs> point. Let's move on to the next story, please. <laughs> so what's this video about? Stuart Wiggin has buzzed in. What would you like to say? This is, uh, th these are three winners of a of beauty contest somewhere. Those three hideous women won a beauty contest. <laughs> yes, John. In Hartman. Chongqing, I believe. In Chongqing, indeed. You're absolutely right. They were actually trying to win the Miss Chongqing beauty contest. And in fact, these three did actually succeed. But they've been attacked by netizens. Why? Well, th I think a lot of people question whether or not they should be winning a beauty pageant. Well, actually, uh, one netizen attacked them for being ugly and scary looking. Let's take another look at them. <laughs> Indeed, ugly and scary looking <laughs> they are. Especially the second runner up, Tao Yu Jie. She ha yes? That's not really fair because it's taken out of the context, her eyes and lips. Yeah. Okay, well, let's not worry about the eyes and lips for now. We'll, we'll get on to that in a minute. You've, uh, <laughs> as no, you can no, no, see. No, there's always a photo. Sure. Go back to your show. Um, <laughs> the second runner up, uh, Tao Yu Jie, is viewed as the most troll like due to her eyes and mouth, and apparently. People, people actually call her troll like. Indeed, that's not my words, it's that's John Hartman's words. That's a shame because she's probably. I don't know, she's crying somewhere now. <laughs> she's probably killed herself, to be honest. Um, now, uh, we don't know. We don't we know don't for know. sure. We don't know. Okay. We don't so, know. Yeah. But she, she probably hasn't. <laughs> she probably hasn't. She might be like uh, floating down a river face down. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, anyway, the organizers have admitted what? 
John Altman, I know you want to. Oh yeah, they, I now I remember. They admitted that they had they were they had to cave in to outside pressure. That is true. Organizers admitted that they have given in to outside pressure, which means some kind of corruption. Uh, possibly Guangxi. Uh, uh Xiaomar, would you like to tell us what Guangxi means? Guangxi. You mean like Guangxi, Guangxi autonomous uh, means? Uh, it just uh, means pipe down you. It's okay. personal Guangxi. relations, you know somebody, it's easier to do stuff. Connection. Network. <laughs> I asked one person and four people answered. Okay, especially with hand. Okay, anyway, um, now some one netizen has actually PS the eyes and mouth of Tao Yujie, the troll-like woman, onto some celebrities. So let's take a look at some celebrities with the eyes and mouth of this uh, ugly beauty contest winner. First of all, we have uh, who's that? Anyone want to tell me? Zhao oh. Wei. It is Zhao Wei, and she is a lovely woman from Wuhu in Anhui, but uh, they've made her look <laughs> terrible. This is called Wuhu. Yeah, it's called Wuhu. <laughs> and it's where Cherry QQ comes from, the car. Okay, uh, next photo. Yeah, who's that? Uh, is that Angela Yang Baby? Yang Mi. It's actually Young Me, indeed. Uh, she is a bit of a hottie, but obviously not in that picture. She looks more like the Joker from uh, The Dark Knight. Uh, next one, please. Now, actually, I have to say, she is one of my favorites. If she wasn't married, I would her. It is Sun Li, indeed. She's a super hottie, but she's got a baby with Dong Chao now. They all look like the Joker. They do, indeed. They all look pretty freaky. Next one, please. Okay, Yao Chen. And let's take a look at the final one. Oh, my gosh. That is like the Joker with boobs. But the thing is, actually, it almost fits her face. Like, the other ones, you know, like, it was obviously out of place. But this, in this case, it almost I have to say, with Fan Bing Bing, it just looks like the plastic surgery went a bit too far. So, absolutely wonderful, indeed. But scary, we know. Actually, She Jian, who is a Guangdong news radio host, actually said online in his blog or whatever, I shouldn't have seen it. Now I can't sleep. Did only three people attend the contest? Uh, in reference to the three winners. Yes. Uh, I've seen a photo of them without their makeup on. They're not, they're not this bad. Okay, well maybe they just got made to look ugly. Who can say? Mm. Uh, Ding Lulu, would you ever enter a beauty contest? No. Because you wouldn't win? I mean, I'm not confident. Oh, okay. I, I haven't helped that, have I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're nice. Okay, what about you, Shalmar? Would you enter a beauty contest? Mm, probably not. Why not? Because they have, you know, qualifications. What, you don't have any qualifications? No. Okay, stupid. Um, <laughs> and uh, what would your talent be if you were in a beauty contest? Um, I think maybe typing. Typing? <laughs> you do that a lot in the office? Yes, in both English and Chinese. Wow, they really use your talents where we work. <laughs> and uh, Ding Lulu, you have many talents, uh, as I know. Um, what, uh, what talent would you show in the beauty contest? Uh, can I dive in and save someone? Yes, we'll set a swimming pool up just for you. Marvellous. Uh, John Artman, would you actually enter a man's beauty contest? Um, a handsome contest? I thought you were going to ask me about my talent. But You've got um, none. Uh, what <laughs> would, you, would you enter a beauty contest, though? I think I would. And I would, I, I would try to grow my beard out a little bit and then maybe braid it or something. And make Have you not already? Grown it out and braided it? No, grown it out a little bit. Yeah, but I, I cut it recently. Oh. Okay, uh, just before we finish, because I'm getting bored, uh, Stuart, uh, what talent would you show if you entered a male beauty contest? Polishing. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Stuart Wiggin used to be one of CRI's most accomplished polishers, which means he takes the news and makes it readable. Okay, anyway, that's just about it for now. Let me just check how, uh, how much people enjoyed it. Did you two enjoy the show? Pretty much. A large amount. What? I enjoyed it a large amount. It looked like you were holding uh, Fan Bing Bing's under the table. <laughs> okay, and uh, there you go, you're having fun. <laughs> and uh, oh, whose balls are you holding, John Arthur? My own. Oh. <laughs> well done, Mr. Cock and Balls himself. Okay, did you two enjoy the show? Yeah. Was it better than Ab's show? Ooh. Say yes. Yeah, okay. Anything's better than Ab's show. Uh, anyway, uh, don't forget, if you want to uh, check out the show on Weibo, it's down below. And also, if you want to write in and tell me how much better I am than Ab, also check the email address down below. Anyway, that's just about it for C4. We'll see you next week, okay? Bye for now. Bye-bye. Yeah.